Hey everybody, my name is Joyce Omundi Waihiga and I'm back on Sidham Church Online. <laughs> it's so good to be back here. Thank you to everybody who's been asking about where I have been and why I've not been doing these videos. Nimerudi, Nimerudi and we're ready to get to work. And today I want to talk to you guys about joy. I know a lot of us have had these discussions about happiness versus joy, okay? Happiness is based on circumstance. What you have, who you know, where you've gone, what you've done, you know, those external things. But joy is really an internal peace that happens to you despite or in spite of your circumstances. And the truth is that's really, really hard to do, okay? Um, you have to purpose to do it. You have to decide every single day that you're going to be a joyful person. Um, and that's exactly what we wanna talk about here today, choosing joy. So someone once said, joy is a decision a really brave one about how you are going to respond to life. And that's something I've really been trying to practice this year. If you follow me on social media, you'll know one of the hashtags I've been putting on all of my posts is choose joy because it really, Maze, Maisha, it, it has to be one thing that you absolutely purpose to do. But there's a lot of encouragement in the word of God. And in fact, David himself would choose joy. In Psalm chapter 16, verse eight and nine, eight and nine, he says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body will also, also will rest secure. My body also will rest secure. Now, let's take a step back and look at the context here. David wrote this psalm from a time of trouble, okay? In verse one of this, of this psalm, he actually asks for preservation. And then he took confidence that he would not be moved. And we see that in verse eight. Then in verse 10, he says that he, he, he talks about having some sort of confidence in some type of resurrection. Okay, but despite all that preservation, you know, resurrection, you know, all this anguish do not be moved, the tone, the tone of this psalm is not one of despair or of complaint. It is actually settled joy, settled joy. Despite his trouble, David had a praising confidence in God. And you see that in verse five. Now, to trust God is the highest honor we can do to him. It is to set the crown upon his head. That's a quote by someone named Trapp. And I think that is so powerful. Imagine you as a mortal being setting a crown on God himself. And all that crown is, is your trust. And so really, David shows us the benefits of trusting God. That is the benefits of choosing him to be our joy. Again, it's a choice. And these two verses, eight and nine, actually show a decision and an effect of choosing joy. Okay, so let's look at verse eight. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. David made that decision to put God first in his life. He determined that God would always be at the forefront, at the center of his decisions. And so his confidence was that because God is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. That is a standing security in David's life that would not have otherwise existed if he had not set God before him. And then in verse nine, we actually see the effect of that decision, which is gladness and glory to his life. Setting the Lord before him though, actually has a cost because certain pleasures, popularity, um, anonymity or relationships would actually be put at stake. But David maturely understood both the costs and the benefits of that decision to trust in God and to choose him as his joy. 
And on top of it, he was actually able to sing a song of praise about it. This challenges me so much because I really don't want to be that person who's just grumbling in every situation when there are people in this world that can actually praise God in the midst of very difficult situations. And that is what joy is all about, that inner peace and that inner confidence. David was so confident in God's care and blessings that even in death, he was saying, I trust that you're going to resurrect me. And remember, at this time, there was no such thing as resurrection. People didn't even know what that was. And so David's heart was glad and he found the secret to joy. True joy is far deeper than happiness and we can feel it in spite or despite of our troubles. So remember, where happiness is based on external circumstances, joy, true joy is lasting because it is based on God's presence with us. So I challenge you today to choose joy and let that not just be an empty quote for you because ultimately choosing joy means setting God before you and choosing Him. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Maybe there's an experience that you've been going through and you're just like, hey, Mazay Joyce, you don't even get it. <laughs> Do let us know. You can reach us on our social media platforms at Sitam Church Online on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, go over there, hit that red subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you can get the notifications. Don't miss out on an episode. And now guys, you can catch this as a podcast. Go to anchor forward slash Sitam Church online. Until next time, God bless you. I'll see you soon.